YouTube, I am Nintendoman64, bringing you the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold, the Action Replay Edition. Last time, we began our run through the boss rematches, the gym leader rematches, mind you, through the Pokemon Johto thing, and we also caught ourselves Suicune. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to be continuing our rematches of the gym leaders by taking on Whitney... Morty and I'm a Chuckster. Obviously, all being recorded on separate days because I really do not have the patience to keep changing and altering my computer. Also, that could probably damage the emulator as I've tried it in the past, so I'd rather not deal with anything. Before we begin our match with Whitney, I do want to make out. make out. <laughs> I do want to point out one thing. I changed Taboo's move set a bit. Just one move. I got rid of Mean Look, and I thought about a lot of different moves I could put here. I could put Bite here, I could put Wing Attack here, just so, you know, we could have some different, some way to deal with, like, such, like, a Poison type or something along those lines, but the thought occurred to me. I really don't have, like, a tertiary option for dealing with, say, a Rock or Ground type, especially a Ground type as... With the except, as even though both Dorporia and Supes do really well against ground types, both resisting or outright unaffected by them, I really don't have anything that can really counteract a ground type besides those two. That changes, because I decided to teach Taboo's Giga Drain. Now, its special attack isn't nearly as good as, say, Alessi's or... Mufa sorry, why do I keep calling you poor Mufasa? This is why I can't do multiple Pokemon playthroughs at the same time. Or Nutmegs. But the fact that it has 118 should do pretty decent damage and can keep Taboos healthy and in fights for a lot longer of a period. Worst case scenario, I just replace it. But I actually do like this moveset. It's going to be dealing... It has U-Turn to deal with Psychics, Poison and Flying for same type attack bonuses, and now Giga Drain to deal with that. The only other move I was really considering replacing it with was Haze, but you guys know me and my uh, blissful ignorance, so uh, I have Alessi out here because, to be brutally honest, I don't have an option to take on Whitney. Alessi is my best option because she's a ghost type and is unaffected by normal type moves. But then again, she also has her mill tank, which ability is Scrappy, which allows it to hit normal type, uh, hit ghost types with normal type moves, so my best bet is to basically hit her hard and fast with Alessi, and then worst case scenario, throw out Taboos and Mama's Boy. Mama's Boy, whose lack of speed and special defense has definitely been a hamper so far, so hopefully we can improve some a bit. But enough beating around the bush, it's time to call our girl Whitney for a rematch. Hello? Um, hey, what's up? I'm doing great over here, totally. Yeah, I'm bored, nothing to do. Oh, yeah, you want to battle me again? Of course. For sure, I really want to battle too. Um, you know where to find me, the Fighting Dojo in Saffron City. Ugh, yes, because Whitney uses normal types, and... I am not going to the Battle Frontier and going through the Battle Frontier a million times just to get the TM for Brick Break. And the only other fighting type move my Pokemon can learn is, oddly enough, Reversal. And the only way for me to get that would be to basically have Nutmeg go with a Ditto, reha basically hatch it from an egg, and then teach it all the way back up. And I love my girl Nutmeg. She has pulled me through a lot of fights in this game, and I do not want to dis dishonor her like that, so... I'm not going to do that, so Nutmeg is going to take 5 for a little bit, especially in this particular episode, because I don't think Nutmeg is going to do very well against some of the Pokemon that we'll be fighting, so... Basically, the next couple episodes are going to be Alessi, Mama's Boy, and probably Taboos, with maybe an appearance from Draporia or Shookin. But for the most part, this is basically going to be Alessi's show. Hopefully... My strategy to take out Whitney works, so let's see. I never break my promises. Are you ready? Alright, let's see how she starts things off with. I don't remember how she starts things off. Usually when I fight her, I know what her last Pokemon is, but I don't remember. Giraffe egg. Okay, so... 
The strategy here is pretty simple. What I have to do is I'm going to use two battle items. First things first, I'm going to use the X Special Defense to boost my Special Defense. She's probably going to use... Oh, to counteract. Impressive. Alright, so now I have to counteract that with another move of my own. X Special. So, boost my special attack and special defense. Shadow Ball! Oh, boy. Now, luckily, Alessi has very high special defense, so this should be pretty simple. Okay, this might not be my most in-tune plan, but I'm going to have to use Dark Pulse here. And hope for a flinch or two. And, yep, I'm dead. Come on. Oh, Alessi coming through in the clutch. All right, so looks like I'm going to have to do some finagling around here. This could be my first actually really tough rematch. Because, like I said, I don't have anything that can really take on a normal type too well. All right, and Dark Pulse for the win. And there we go. Good job, Alessi. All right, next up should be Mill Tank. Clefable. Okay. High HP and special tank there. Uh, Mama's Boy. Worst case scenario, I throw out like a sacrificial lamb to beef up uh, Alessi again. But I don't think I'm going to need it. Earthquake should be more than enough to deal with uh, this this particular Clefable. Especially when it's, that Earthquake is almost 300 in attack strength. And, oh, even a critical hit. So perfect. Good job, Mama's Boy. Alright, B Barrel is up next. Normal type. Normal water type. So Soups will get an appearance. Good for him. We haven't seen enough of Soups. Him and his stupid face. And Soups, you do what you do best, buddy. That's my boy. Do your stupid dance. Get yourself some levels. Alright, Licky Licky. Licky Licky could be a problem. Very bulky. Alright, Mama's Boy. There isn't much Licky Licky can do that would concern me unless it uses a move like Hyper Beam. Because that's the only like normal type thing that could possibly take out Mama's Boy. Because Mama's Boy has high defenses. Oh, you're faster than Licky Licky. I was not expecting that. I know Lickitung's family is supposed to be slow, but I was kind of expecting... Hey, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it and run with it. Ooh. Ooh, that can hurt. And, oh dear. Alright, so this should be a... This would actually be a golden opportunity to... You're not healing? Oh boy, I read that wrong. I read that wrong. I read that very wrong. Uh, yeah, goodbye mama's boy. I thought she was gonna heal for sure there. Um... Taboos? Alright, let's, uh... Let's cross poison there. Alright, so next up should be Mill Tank. I would be stunned if it wasn't. Yep, Mill Tank. Okay. A Pokemon that can resist rock types. Thank you, Mama's Boy, for being dead. Uh I don't have anything that can really take this thing on right now. Uh Taboos, you're my best option. Save the things to lower Miltank's attack power. Save the other Pokemon to lower the attack power. Um we're definitely faster than it, so 
Hopefully she starts with defense curl first. Attract. Um. Please? Do I have a red flute? Yay! Atta boy. Bros before hoes, taboos. Alright. Alright, mill tank. And a lumberry, right? Perfect. I'd rather that, so that means if I'd poisoned it, it could have just knocked itself right back to sleep, so... Let's cry... Cry. Let's try cross poison. Poison. Yay! And you just want to make my bat horny. I will give you news. Taboos is not into that crap. Uh, red flute. Because I can. I wish I had the yellow flute. That would be the best. Red, blue, and yellow. Alright. Now, it'll heal itself. Go back to sleep. And I could basically now... S I could kind of start setting up here. Um, let's go with Dire Hit. I mean, I would assume this thing knows Sleep Talk. It would not surprise me. Yep. And, ah, <laughs> that's adorable. Alright, so let's see. One more item. I might be able to take advantage of. Let's go guard spec. So we can have our stats lowered. And this should be a tract. I ah! <laughs> Twice. Alright, cross poison. Let's get a crit here. This is the only Pokemon on her team that troubles me. Uh... Does this thing not know rollout? I'm starting to think it might not. Because if it's sleep, talk, rest, attract. What, it might not know rollout. Ah, uh, body slam. There you go. And... Hope for that crit. Come on. Yeah! It's my boy, Taboos. Alright, last up is Delcaddy. Now, Delcaddy almost always starts with Fake Out, so you want to be careful with that. The reason why I'm careful with it is because <laughs> Taboos cannot flinch, so... Yeah, even if this Delcaddy gets me to Fake Out... Inner Focus lets it still attack and Cross Poison. Oh, poison. Nice. And that just leaves. Poor me. Oh, come on, Whitney. You put up a good fight. Don't don't get down on yourself. I'm not going... I'm not going to have you make a comeback here, so... There you go, Taboos. Go for the kill. Soup's to level 61. Good for him. Taboos. Nope. Ugh. Eh, not bad. You did a good job. You really are strong, but I won't lose next time. I don't plan on rematching you for a while. Because you actually were kind of tough. You, you, you did a number on my team. Unless he was almost taken out and you demolished Mama's boy. Despite him putting up a good fight, and it ended up being Taboos taking home the glory. Uh, that's it for now. Join me in a couple of seconds, as you'll obviously tell, when uh, I'm involved with our fight with Morty. So, until then, I will see you guys then. You know, I'm not going to lie. It is kind of weird to see Alessi sprite as big as it is, when according to the Pokedex, that's not the Pokedex controller. That has never been the Pokedex. When according to said Pokedex, as I scroll down... Should the thing ever want to cooperate. This is essentially the size of Miss Magius. 
She's about the size of my torso. It is kind of weird to have her be the same body as me when she's only two foot eleven. What do you have to say about that, Alessi? You're wandering around? Okay. Anyway, it's time to do Morty now. I had a Rick and Morty joke plugged in, but you know what? I'm just too tired and I don't feel like doing a Rick and Morty joke at the moment, so... Yeah! It's late on a Tuesday and I have not slept yet, so whatever. Hello. What's going on? I'm doing great. I'm completely free today. Why don't we have a battle? Of course. Do you know where the fighting dojo is in Saffron City? I'll be waiting there. I would love for one of these guys just to not be at the fighting dojo. I would find that pools of ironic, but they might find it as pools of moronic, but I digress. But I digress. I was just talking about you. Let's battle. Alright, let's see if you've learned any lessons since the last time we fought. To not just have a team of Ghastly's Haunters and Gengars. You have! Good job! Alright. Driftblim, the ghost flying type. Eh, why not? We might as well take advantage of launching Shadow Balls while we can. Driftblim does have a lot of health, so it might live, and it did. Really? A citrus berry? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that you gave your Driftblim a c citrus berry. Eh, whatever. Oh, now suddenly the Driftblim is faster than me, of course. Of course couldn't have this gameplay fair. Of course not. Alright, mama's boy. Time to earn your keep around here. And of course, it's using Destiny Bond, and I'm gonna play right into its hand by killing it this turn. Yep. Oh, don't you just love ghost types? I know I don't. Alright, so that's two down for me. Uh, Draporia. I just love that the Drifloom just happened to be as fast as Miss Maggie is. But whatever, I digress. Alright. Time to set up. Oh, you bitch. You faked me out. How could you? Alright. Ice Punch. Should not do that much because Sableye's stats are terrible to compensate for the fact that it does not have a weakness in this game. It does in uh, Gen 6 forward when the Fairy type is introduced. But until then... It is one of few Pokemon that has no weaknesses. Oh well. Alright, this will be a dead Sableye. Good job, Derporia. Keep doing, keep doing Daddy proud. Alright, Gengar. I should be looking to bring Alessi back, but you know what? I'm kind of disappointed in her. She should be playing... Stupid friggin' microphone thing. She's trying to blow out my eardrums. Ugh. Alessi should know better. She should be better than she is, but unfortunately she's just... She's slacking off! What can I say? I'm disappointed. Hopefully she'll learn about this and try to do better next time. Until such a time, however, she's going to be relegated to the side. I think she understands this. 
I think she knows all too well that she needs to pick up the pace because there isn't much of this game left. After all, we're rematching gym leaders now because we've run we're running out of stuff to do. We have two, technically three legendaries left to catch. I'm only gonna catch one of them. Uh Uh, it's Dusk Noir, so its stats aren't that good. I'll go for the same type of attack bonus. Um, but yeah, technically three, but I think I'm only going to catch two in this Let's Play of uh, Legendaries left. Them being Lugia and Mewtwo. Since I bet he's going to heal, perfect. I can just make myself even stronger. Which means it should not survive without another waterfall. Um, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, there are only two legendaries left to catch. Them being Lugia and Mewtwo. Then the Battle Frontier. And then our... We conclude our rematches with the Elite Four, and then we go up to Mount Silver. So yeah, there really is not much left to do in this playthrough. No, it's not over yet. Not yet. Uh, buddy, it's over. You started out pretty strong. Your Driftlin took out a third of my team. But once you let Derporia get going, she became a lethal fighting machine. And when someone gets in her way, she demolishes them. I've lost again. You may have something more than just strength. I don't know. Time to be a little bit more awake, hopefully, when we battle- oh, I'm a jugster! And other such Super Mario Sunshine references before I play my Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play. It is the bewitching hour of night when the devils make their calls and the taboozes enter the shadows. And this tabooze is apparently glowing with health. Which is good because I wouldn't want him being in any bad shape when we go to face I'm a Chuckster because he is today. Hello? Oh, hey, sorry for shouting. I'm doing great. Oh, wait, I just finished training. Do you want to battle again? Of course. I'll be waiting over at the fighting dojo in Saffron City. As everyone else has been. I'm starting to think this is a trend. Alright, come on, Taboos. Let's see who he's throwing out against us. There you are. Taste my 24-hour training. All right, I'm a chuckster. No use prevaricating about the bush. Let's see what you've got. You've got a Medicham. Interesting Pokemon there. Not much he can do f against me, but sure, why not? All right, high jump kick. He missed. Crashes into the wall. And then I fly and hopefully kill him. Come on, Taboos. That a boy. Show them you have no mercy. You demon bat. You're going with Breloom. Interesting choice, since it's quad weak to flying. I would have. Maybe you don't have Lucario? Ah. Oh, you're going to be using Facade. Ah, so you're going to be like that. You're going to be like that what's it called? Oh, boy. That's going to hurt. Oh, come on. Uh, all right, it has Stone Edge. Oh, it knows Poison Heal. You piece of shit. 
Alright, Nutmeg. Do that voodoo that you do so well. We get its attack strength. No critical hits for this stupid schlub. And scorch him to death. Can't believe it has poison heal for an ability. That's so stupid. It should have effect spore. Alright, next up, Polyrath. Hey Soups, you wanna take on your friend? He's your old friend. I hope you do at least. Alright. Oh this is tricky actually. Now let's go frenzy plant. See how much damage it does. If it leaves us vulnerable, it leaves us vulnerable. Worst case scenario, I bring out uh, a lessee to finish the job. It shouldn't, though. Polyrath isn't the best defender. And there you go. Good job, Soups. Alright, next up, Hitmon Lee. More offensive, so it has less physical defense. Which means it's good. It's ripe for a Mama's Boy bashing, and Mama's Boy was almost level 62. So, is there anything Hitmonlee could learn that could damage you, like severely? Oh, fake out maybe. All right, bulk up, boost its attack strength, but I don't think that's gonna matter in the long run. Because Mama's Boy is a monster who has almost 300 attack thanks to that stupid thick club of his. It did not matter. It wasn't even a crit. His health went down that quickly regardless. Alright, this one could be tough. Hitmonchan. And double team. I really do need to get one of those, like, non-missing moves on one of my team members. Aerial Ace is, I think, the only one I have. Oh, no, I have Shockwave, too, but... I really don't want to give Shockwave out to anybody. I don't know. Alright, you did the good job, Mama's Boy. Alessi to level 62. Mama's Boy's almost level 62. And that just leaves the big guy, Primeape. Sure, why not? Hopefully he has a better recipe than just Focus Punch. We haven't lost yet? Well, you're about to. Payback won't do that much. Since I didn't do any damage to you this turn. And Earthquake will seal the deal. Good job, Mama's Boy. I'm proud of you. And down goes Primeape. Mama's Boy to level 62. Let's see what that attack looks like now. Almost 300. Oh my lord. We lost. You did lose, Chuck. <laughs> Battle with you is never boring. That's because I'm good like that. Okay, that'll wrap up this episode of uh, Fighters. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm NintendoMan64. Join me next time when we take on the likes of Jasmine, Price, and Claire. Until then, sayonara.